satisfying. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm a little bit more colorful today with my Scooby-Doo shirt on. So I did a very, very small NYX haul. They launched this new product that I just had to have because I just I needed it. So I bought a couple other things from NYX. One thing that I got is the white liquid eyeliner, which I'm really excited about because I think this will make really cool eye looks with the James Charles palette. Like I just love when people add like a white liner accent. Um, I opened this earlier and it's like really hard to get out, which makes me nervous. <laughs> but I'm really excited to test this out. I'm not going to be testing it out today, but I'm super excited to do a look with this. Then I also got one of their lip lingeries. And I already have the shade Lace Detail, as you guys all know. It's my favorite. Satisfying. So I got another lip lingerie. I got the shade Silk Indulgent. But also, they were having free engravements. So I went ahead and got Imitation with two little like lipstick prints on it because I thought that would be really cute. And I'm excited to test this out today. But the main reason we're here is this brand new launch from NYX that I'm so, so excited about. It is the Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. I'm so excited about this. I, I've never bought any concealers or foundations from NYX because... They've always been very matte, and from people with dry skin, I've heard their reviews, and they always say it's so drying and awful. The claims on the back say it provides fresh-faced look, evens out skin tone, provides seamless coverage, breathable weightless formula, skin looks luminous, fresh and dewy looks, what I'm going for today, does not streak, and provides up to 8-hour wear. First of all, I absolutely love the packaging. I love this, like baby pink and then just having the shade right here i have the shade vanilla nude so hopefully that is a good match for me i mean it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match but it could be a little dark i think this is the second lightest shade and the first one was like pink pink undertones i was not expecting this to have like a squeezy knob thing i don't know i don't know what i was expecting it to look like but not that now into the testing so not a bad consistency at all. I actually like this. So far so good. The shade looks pretty okay for me I think but I don't know. It might be a tad bit too dark. This was $13 which you get almost an entire fluid ounce so I feel like that's kind of expensive for NYX. To blend this out I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty sponge. So I think this shade might be a little bit too yellow for me, but the next lightest shade was very pink and I know it would have been too pink for me, so I do have a few acne spots that I messed with last night and probably shouldn't have, but I did and now I'm regretting it because they're going to peek right through this. I'm pretty sure this is basically just supposed to be like a BB cream, so I wasn't expecting it to have very full coverage or anything. But I was if I could have a little bit more coverage than it does. It's covered almost nothing. I mean, I feel like I applied quite a bit. And it's just, it says evens out skin tone. And I don't even really think it's done that. I mean, there's quite a bit of redness still on my face. I feel like I don't even look like I put anything on. I mean, maybe it's just soaking into my sponge or something. But I'm a little disappointed. I was really excited in this. And I mean, I'm going to add some more. And we'll see how it goes. But... Let's just apply it straight onto my face. I just feel like it didn't get almost any coverage. And if it evens out skin tone, then you have to have some coverage, I would think. I think I am getting more coverage from the second layer. My skin definitely still looks like skin, but I feel like it looks like skin because this has zero coverage. You know, there's a difference between your skin still looking like skin with coverage and your skin looking like skin because there's no coverage. It's definitely luminous, which I do really like. I mean, I like the way my skin looks. It says provides seamless coverage. And I don't feel like it's providing almost any coverage. I mean, maybe my face does look different and I just really can't tell. You know, let me know down in the comments what you think. Does my face look any different than it did, you know, at the beginning? You know, the more I look at it and the more I kind of like tap it in, I almost feel like my face looks a little bit more airbrushed. Alright, so I applied some concealer and then I felt like I needed to go back in over this again. And I just, 
I don't know. I like light coverage foundations. I like when my skin kind of peeks through because I feel like it looks more natural. But this is like not even light coverage. This is like sheer coverage at best. I'm going to go apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with you guys to talk about, you know, this whole situation. My final thoughts on this. I like the way it looks a lot, which kind of upsets me. I feel like my skin does look very like airbrushed, but this has to be a product for a good skin day. I mean, it really is just a skin veil. It doesn't really cover any redness at all. I'm not having a very good skin day today, but I have a breakout here and here and here and this probably wasn't the best day to test this, but I wanted to test it as soon as I got it. I literally just got it in the mail yesterday. I will continue to use this, and I do think that I would really like it, just with a different concealer. I used my Ulta concealer, and I just don't think that covers enough. I think if I use this with my ELF 16 hour camo concealer, I would like it a lot better, because that could give me the coverage, while the rest of my face still looks really natural and beautiful. So I don't hate it. It would take a couple more uses for me to really know if this is actually worth $13, but right now, I don't really think so. I mean, I didn't realize that NYX was like so expensive. I know that they're drugstore and I know $13 isn't like a lot for a foundation or BB cream or anything, but $13 for a drugstore foundation I feel like is quite a lot. This does not feel heavy on my skin at all. It does feel light. It doesn't seem to be clinging to any dry patches. I actually think it's a little tacky. So I think for right now, I'm gonna rate this like a six out of 10. I wish it had a little bit more coverage. I know it's just a BB cream, but I feel like it needs some more coverage to actually even out your skin tone. If you have any redness at all, this is not going to cover it. I normally don't have breakouts, so I think I will actually really like this once my skin has like cleared again. I do think I'll like this a lot in the summer. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything on my face. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey at all, which is really nice. So I will keep trying that out and I will keep you guys updated. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's just at imitation underscore and also follow me on Influencer because the second this comes on to Influencer, I'm going to be putting out my new review of how I feel about it once it's on there. I think that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want me to test out more products, more foundations, I would love to. Um, I'm gonna keep trying this one and maybe I should do like an updated review on it later once I've tried it out more. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that. I put videos out every Saturday and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye!